There are hundreds of variables at play when we're writing CSS, and if you try and account for all of them, you're just writing more and more code that's becoming more and more of a mess. Instead of trying to tell the browser exactly what it should do, we need to lean into the way the browser already works and just set constraints where needed. For example, block elements already want to fill all of the available space on the inline axis, so declare something like a max width or even better, a max inline size, and then just let it do its thing. Similarly, elements want to be as small as possible on the block axis, so declaring a min height or a min block size will prevent an element from getting too small, but if there's more content in there, it still allows it to grow and you don't run into any overflow issues. Though the main issue I see is a lot of people setting heights when they don't even need one at all. They just want more background. And if you want more background, then all you have to do is add a bit of padding and there you go, your background is getting bigger. Now these might seem like really simple examples, but this type of mindset where you're shifting from working in absolutes to just trying to hint at the browser and set constraints on what it's already trying to do instead of forcing it into exactly what you want it to do is the type of thing that can really unlock a lot more even as you're getting into complex things with flexbox and grid and all the other fun stuff that we can do with css we can still take these mindset approaches into creating those things and working with how they want to work to make our lives a lot easier